How you doing, officer? How are you, sir? I'm Mr. Stone, Coach Stone, 89 Spartans. You are a coach? Yeah, 89 Spartans. Nice to meet you, sir. Eric Green. What's going on? We went state. Did you? Yeah. Elite, that... Elite Eight, we were on the board, me and Dad. Is that in basketball? Barnard. Is that Kevin basketball? Yeah. Okay. Nobody's beat us since 32 years. Okay. Well, we so, uh, yeah, I'm doing ninja routines, and I have no karate, and I've got a leg that's kind of messed up. It helps me with motion. Okay. So, I'm on the sidewalk, and I hurt anybody. Okay. No, they were is that worried. what your problem is? They or? were just worried. They didn't know what was going on. Well, I'm a disabled uh, stud that has to rebuild a leg and half a body. What happened to your leg? A T9 and T10 got caught at cut off right up here. They put a wire up in there, and then they had to move the wire back in place, and then when they moved the wire back in place, it knocked my whole leg out. Okay. I still had nuts. I still had my manhood. Yeah. Five years ago on October 17th. Six. Last time the Brewers did work the thing. Was it like uh, an accident, or? No, they wanted to put this new device with the battery in there. Oh, okay. At the time, they didn't want to give out narcotics, because that was too hot of a subject. And uh, he'd st poked me with a bunch of steroids and all the other shit. And I said, why don't you just it, not do the uh, infection or something happening bad and just give me narcotics, you know? Yeah. Well, everything was too hot then. Even the FDA for the doctors to do shit. And I got bolts in my back. Been denied disability since 2003. Really? Lost a $500,000 farm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, my two, two sisters took over when my mom had a stroke in 011. I took care of mom for three years yeah. at the farm when dad died. He was the famous coach here. Really? Yeah. I'm not from here. So Where are you from? I'm from Winchester. Oh, yeah, I, I want to kind of get over there. I'm in housing. This is my brother-in-law. He married my ex that screwed me over. The two envious sisters that were older than me. And I lived on the farm, and I built four or five farms. Really? They sold it all underneath me. Wouldn't even put it for sale. And then, not only would they not put it for sale, they wouldn't even have an auction. They were going to sell it to a dude that already gave them a bid for hundred grand, which is $300,000 too less. Yeah. So the auctioneer knew this big stud farmer and appraised it at about what he wanted to pay. And then I'm sure there was some cash going under the table to my two sisters. I'm on disability. I'm not because for 10 years I've been waiting. I got fired at the state. Secretary of State fires me during a medical leave. You believe that? That's crazy. Yeah. Wrongful termination during a medical leave that's approved in 2010 or 2011. Yeah. News don't want to report it. Then I take it all the way up to the highest courts in Illinois, and they're not going to pass me because I'm suing the state. It's got to go federal. Yeah. So no lawyer wanted to take me. That's why I didn't have representation in the first place. And my union just sucked up on everything. Well, yeah. SEIU, whatever the boys are up they're in getting, Chicago. They're they didn't help me with a damn fucking thing. No, but but disability wouldn't pay because it was like, well, the state's paying for his medicine. Yeah. yeah. And then Durbin had me as a, a representative in 03. There's, I should pass my disability. I got bolts in my back. I built a team in 86, and we won all the way. You know I've had 100 jobs, and my back's broke. You know, I got bolts in it and with inserts. Denied. That's crazy. Yeah, we had a 120-acre farm. I can't do anything. I still got to wait. I can't work. I still got to get medical leaves. Wow. News wouldn't report a damn thing on it. Well, no. Your union was getting a kickback. And then I wanted to get back here. In 15, when I had my leg, because in 2018, around this time, it, they blew it up with this new bat. You can probably see the battery. I can see, yeah. Oh. That's the device they put in. Yeah, yeah, fucking battery. You can program it and all this other shit for different ways. Really? Well, it shipped out of position, so when they shifted it back into position after the surgery, because somehow it shifted out of position. That's the same day surgery when I woke up and then tons of pain. I didn't even care about my paralyzed leg. The pain was so bad. Now, the only time I've been crucified that much where the pain was that bad 
was on December the 29th of 2003 when they put these six bolts, two bone inserts in a cage. And for 25 hours, when Passion came out, the movie Passion, with Mel Gibson and Jesus oh, okay. was on the yeah. beaten stand. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It had been about six months since I got out of the hospital. That first 24 hour days of mine, whenever I got out of that surgery, was like that. It, I got sick in it watching that movie. And then I was fine, and they wouldn't give me the narcotics or nothing. Finally, they met uh, Maronite's illegal marijuana, which is cool, you know, takes the anxiety off. And CBDs do work with other elements in there. Now I'm doing this because I was a great golfer. I probably had more eagles in my, both my hands. You know, eagle is like two under. Yeah, I know. I golf with Aaron yeah. usually on Monday. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys are probably pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm running away. He's probably still in there sleeping or doing something. Yeah. He, he's, he's, I told him, I said, I want you home and you die if I, my mom will outlive you. He said, "He said, okay, I'm sure you give it on to you." And I, I got housing, so I said, "When I go, you can have all the shit, you know, Connor." Does Connor. So he live in the housing around here? Whitehall. Whitehall. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So I assume you're not with Aaron's sister anymore. Aaron's sister. Aaron's wife was my sister, who was oh, divorced. Oh, okay. For I 20 years, because she she's a crazy bitch. Okay. The two bitches fucking took it on mom and threw her in the hospital after three years of me taking care of her. Okay. And she was going to give me the farm, but they fucking convinced her not to. Okay. And then I saved her life because she had a heart attack. And instead of just fucking leaving and letting her die. Yeah. My sister wanted to fight about what car we took her in. Seconds matter in a heart attack yeah that's huh. when you know that the power of attorney shit's starting to take over wow i called leafers up before all this shit happened they got a domestic violence on me somehow and uh they tried everything in their best they fuck and then thive gets said you cannot sell personal property we had a hundred thousand dollars in the bank i was investing in stock market for her and the girls didn't think I knew anything about how much money you had. They, they, wanted to sh they, they wanted to shut off the power. A month oh, after man. she died, I said, she's got people from Florida, the church, from Southwestern, all these people that need to contact her and know where she's at. And they, well, she, we can't afford it. And then my aunt called me up and said, what are you living there at the farm for? We've had it for 1,847 years. Fitzgerald came up probably related to JFK. Really? And that was supposed to be ours to carry on. I'm not going to sell it. Fish and pond or hand stock. Yeah, that was marvelous. Hmm. Yeah, the two girls got me. And then since she worked for an attorney in uh, Carlinville, she basically could get the judge to do anything. Yeah. And when I said there could be a conflict of interest when we went to this court because of that, they just shoved me off. Oh, yeah. I didn't get it in paper though. Yeah. Should have got it in paper like a real lawyer. I didn't know. They just knocked the piss out of me since you don't know law. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. I had two years of business law, so I did know law. And then I had to fight Social Security on because you know I've got bolts in my back. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a living miracle. God gives me the grace to walk every day. Sometimes I don't walk. I get on my knees and I do this shit. You know. I watch my YouTube games, and my, <laughs> my veteran stories. You know, I love veteran stories. Pilots, Air, Air Force pilots. I couldn't get in in '86. They denied me. They knew then I had a bad back. But I come back. And we, we still built the '89 Spartan team because I still was a stud. When you have a pro point guard at 26 playing against a bunch of these freshmen, juniors, and seniors. And a couple of other alumni that come in that dad bring in. So you got some of the best studs going up against you for starting five. Yeah. That makes you pretty damn good. Yeah. And then you play six on five against them. And then sometimes they start beating the alumni. Dad called me up. I was still working in St. Louis. He said, you'll never guess what happened. I said, what, brother? He said, we're beating the alumni. I said, what? 
He said, yeah, we, we put him on twice already, two in a row. Because I'm not there, you know. You know I, I'm the long shooter stuff. We didn't have three-point play in my day. So long story short, uh, yeah. And then I moved back. I said, I'm going to start coaching instead of fixing computers. Because I put all my money in business and computer science. And was working at the St. Louis Arena. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got tons yeah, of people tickets. Before. Illinois tickets, concert tickets, all of them. Everybody in town knew who I was. I better call him, you know. <laughs> but it was pretty cool working there. So you got an interesting... Uh, oh, it was great. I knew all the big boys. I'd go downtown and deposit the money they made that night off a hockey game. 19, 13, 34,000. And then I was responsible for like 12 outlets, famous bar, because we took on Ticketmaster. Okay. He hired a dude from Ticketmaster to buy out his own shit. The Jew, Harry Ornash, you know. And so he'll be, he fucking bought his own goddamn ticket agency. And then we expanded threefold. We got 60 outlets, plus more venues, Westport and all that shit. And they only gave me a $2,000 raise from 16 to 18. Man, I should be making... 40, 50, 60, $1,000, you know? And uh, I said, I'm tired of working on this. I'd rather go home and work on kids. My nephew was about five or six, uh, Mikey McEvers, and uh, I worked with him and knew that I had a love for children and teaching them sports because he loved it. And, and yeah, he uh, was out by Patterson, right? Yeah. yeah, and Joey died. He's got the little baseball diamond out there. See, I don't even know. You know, I, yeah. I drove out there a couple of days ago. I think he's got like a little baseball diamond right next to his house. I, don't, I drove out there. It's so barren. I told Connor he's working at the prison. I said, get your place in Patterson. The taxes are completely nothing. Get you five or six hogs, sows, little setup. Do some A-frames. You know, get a little pasture. And, and then you have your farm, you know, instead of renting. Because he's at the prison. And he's at the prison. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, I'm Coach Stone. Great. Nice to meet you. I'm AJ, the sergeant here in town. So. I like that. AJ Hens, well, boy, he's a hell of a coach. Man, he's a coach. Yeah. I wanted to go pro coach. I've been trying to get in. I wrote in 2012, uh, three or four teams. Now I can put them on file. Like I see something in the game, mm -hmm. and it's messed up, and a coach should know. I file it in a certain YouTube file. So when I talk to the owner with the other coach, and I say, do you see anything wrong with this? So the coach watches it. So he might not see it. So then I tell the owner what the fuck the problem was. So now he knows that I know a secret these other coaches don't. Next guy up, next guy up. I got all kinds, of, I got 30 files, I got 50 files of MLB stuff, but they won't hire a guy that's half-assed crippled with, with uh, domestic orders on him. Susie put a domestic order, the one that kicked me out and mm -hmm. uh, evicted me, yeah. Wow. Said she got hit in the ribs. And then uh, one gal, Pam Chapman, her mom worked at White Hall, and I paid her car off for 3000 She's supposed to give me a title and make payments to me so she don't have to have full liability. So I go there and pay her car off. And then she says the title's with mom. Her name's on it too. I'll have to get it to you. I said, okay, you know. So I drew up a contract, you know. And, you know, I wasn't charging too much interest, you know. And uh, created financing because I got twelve grand from dad when he died. And so I had 3000 to play with. I was like, I'll fucking pay your car off. Well, she turns around and says it's a gift. Then puts an order of protection on me, said I yelled at her at Kroger. And then her mom said, fuck in the sheriff's office to, to back it up. They know I already got an order of protection. So now I can't get my $3,000 that I can't get my title. And she won't sign a contract. Yeah. But then finally she admitted to the judge in the uh, small claims court. And I finally had to took her there. And she said, okay, I'll pay. And so she had a year of pay. And she a and then when you try to track her down, the sheriff costs you 35 bucks. Yeah. And I'm broke. I'm still broke. I'm still not getting a dime. Every year you can't make a penny because you're working trying to get on disability. Yeah. Yeah. Then after 10 years, if you haven't killed yourself, they say you don't have any work credits. They made that up a new law because of me. Aaron bet me. He said, 
You can get it. You can get it. Now with the paralyzed leg, it's a miracle. They will stop you any way they can. Okay. I want to make three FICs. So three people have fucking three choices with 20s and shit like that. So the FICA can't fucking deny people and all the other shit. And then they can invest their stock in a different portfolio. Yeah. So you got three fucking FICAs. You got now three social securities. And they're regulating on a fucking security fucking and term. A lot of people running around here doesn't even fucking deserve it. Oh, my God. Yeah. They get this million, then they get to make 1500 Yeah. I'm on SSI. I can't make a penny. Even if I Spartan coach and they pay me 500 I could lose my SSI. Yeah. Which is not what I want to do. He's got a good team this year. Finally. The one kid should have averaged 30 a game. I got to go in there and get a pair here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, we got, we're going to have a good team if I can get back to shape. I can't hardly get out. I'm losing my legs. This one was completely dead all the way down. Now, after six years, this high hamstring where it attaches to the pelvis, mm -hmm. it stiffens up really bad, and I think I have a tear at the tailbone, or the pelvis. So when that hammy string gets tight, the pelvis pulls against the bone where the three, there's three cords where the uh, hamstring hook. And so I've been, I, I strap up, I got lotion like Biofreeze. Yeah. I buy, I buy the gallon of Biofreeze. And then when I come here, this is my hangout. I got rope dope I invented this. So like in my golf turn. Mm -hmm. And so I stand up more straight. Because yeah. I can't stand up straight at home. Yeah. And then I can kick off or do some jumping. Yeah. Create my own workouts. I got a lot of angels up there helping me. But a lot of coaches. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Like I said, they... AJ, just, you're cool. They just called and were worried that something was going on. So. I scare them. I, and they wouldn't want me. To, they didn't want me to do it at the, uh, the YMCA at the Jacksonville. When I'm on the other side of the pool, I said, "This is a, 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 a ancient technique of Budokan, of Taekwondo, of Karate, where I'm creating motion through sticks to help me get my hip turned and everything else." But it does scare them. Yeah. But I try not to, you know, I'm not close to them. I stop during the, the sidewalk. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the, I even told him, I told my boy, I said, I'm going to have the fuck cops fucking pull me over. I know I am. This is before it all started happening. I've had probably four, maybe five. You know, I had one at the pool in Beardstown. Really? I was at the pool with my, my, my thing. And he come up one knock me on the thing about me using my sticks. And uh he's like, what are, you, what are you talking about? I got went out there in the middle and started soaking. Left my wheelchair over there. Like, stand there and watch for five hours. And if I don't have to say a thing. Nope, you're good, sir. Yeah. But anyway, no. Hopefully, we got a hell of a good team coming up to Beardstown. Well, you said you were. Where was you from again? I'm from Winchester. Well, Beardstown had a hell of a team. Did you get to follow that? I didn't play Beardstown. I know Beardstown went to state in basketball. Yeah, we went to state in seventh grade. Yeah. And, uh, but the run they had this year was awesome. Yeah. You probably got kids or something. Winchester won state this year. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I took notes and stats for them. That first game, they were so bad. Yeah. In the first quarter, I couldn't believe they were only down like two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They had a great team, man. Yeah, I watched. Got it, to watch it's sad because a lot of the, well, a few of the good seniors, they're gone this year. Yeah, they're tough. They're so we'll tough. See. We'll yeah. See. Greenfield's hurting too. They're thin in football. Well, that's good. It's yeah. All the time anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He has to do something original now. All right, AJ. Good seeing you. Good to meet you. Yeah, I used to go around this way.
You got the game on? You ain't got the game on. You got a beer? I need one. No beer. No? Nothing down there. I just got done talking to him for a fucking hour. AJ. Yeah, they come on the cop car and all that bullshit. AJ. He's the senior commander here or whatever. He's from Winchester. Well, it's like 200 to 100. 